to my channel. Today we're going to be budgeting out or closing out week two's paycheck along with doing my week two check-in. So we are going to jump right on into it. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Janelle and I do all things budgeting. I also include work week lunches, grocery hauls, and meal planning and also lifestyle videos so if that is something that you're interested in don't forget to hit that subscribe button so we are going to start off with closing out my paycheck and so we are going to go through the numbers here and i think i'm just gonna uh, put this over here all right so <clears throat> Here um, is going to be our paycheck. So we budgeted 1025 for the week. However, we ended up getting for my main income $599.97. I had a rollover of $162. And then we actually got our commission check late. So that ended up being on this check for $583. 96 and that brought me to a total of 1345.93 to work with for the week. Now we're going to go down to my bills. I had three bills that I needed to cover in this paycheck. My transfer which was budgeted at 200 and that's what we did. My daycare at 574 which is what I did <laughs> and then Ashley's furniture which is at $96. So all of my bills that were budgeted came out to be the same. So then that total was $870. And what you do is you're going to subtract this $870 from that $1345.93. And that gave me a remaining of $475.93 to work with for my cashless cash envelopes. I've already filled these in a different video but if you don't know, I whenever I get paid, I transfer whatever money I actually want to use out of my main account into my Capital One 360 account. Then I use my Capital One Quicksilver card to do all of the purchasing. And then every week, whenever I'm closing out my budget, I will see how much money I used and then I'll go back and pay that card. So for this week, I did $150. I did need to put more money into gas. Um, in some places around the States, gas prices are going up and then I wanted to do just a few more dollars in groceries. Um, so we're going to do that $475.93 minus that $150 which left me with $325.93. And we're gonna roll over that to my cashless, whoops, cashless cash envelopes. So I, the only thing that I put money into was for my PTO, and that is because on the 21st, we are going on vacation, just a short little thing, just to enjoy some time away from the home, from work and all of that stuff. So I know that I'm going to, my paycheck is going to be very, very low for, I want to say the first week in November. So I want to be able to have enough money set up so that I can put money towards that paycheck because that's what the PTO is for, to make sure that my bills are covered. As long as my bills are covered, then I don't need to use it. But if I need it to cover a bill, then I have that money. So I put $10 um, for this time period. So that left me with $315.93. Now I had my overage from last week um, with my cashless sinking funds and that was $11.76 that I needed to pay back to the credit card. So I did go ahead and do that and that left me with $304.17. And we are going to roll that um, over. And then we had my extra savings that I'm putting money towards. So for my 50 envelope challenge, I did $51. And then for my regular savings challenges, I did 50. And then we did 17 cents for my zero out challenge, which brought me to 101.17. 
and that left me with a leftover of 203 so we're going to be rolling over $203 to paycheck number three y'all so that is where we are with my second paycheck of the month so sorry y'all that was my little cheat sheet. And now we're gonna go and quickly look at my expense tracker just to make sure that everything comes out the way that it should. I feel like this is a little blurry, y'all. I hope it's not. Um, but, um, what was I gonna say? So we are looking from everything from the 14th through the 20th. So I got paid my 599.97 and also my 583.96, which gave me a total of 1345.93. I had my bill transfer, my variable income. I saved $111 here. Um, I had my um budget of $11.76, my Ashley, my daycare, and then my zero out. So everything here is also here. So that does match to my 203 that's left in my checking account. So now we're going to go over to my cashless cash envelopes to see exactly <clears throat> what we have going on over there. Okay. So... Oh, I think I know what's wrong, y'all. Okay, I fixed it. I think I fixed it. <laughs> um, so now we're going to get into my cashless cash envelopes and I have my little binder right here. So we're going to write out the categories that I currently have. So we have groceries, we have gas, we have a household, we have personal, and then we have spending. Okay, and I wish this paper here. Okay, so <clears throat> we had negatives pretty much all through here. So for my budgeted, I had $75. For gas, it was $50. For personal, it was $20. And then, oops, just kidding. This says household right here. So let's fix that. Household is currently at zero. Personal is at $20. And then spending was at $23. So let's see what <clears throat> actually was happening in this week. So for groceries here, I went to do an HEB grocery pickup and I spent $71.42. So we're going to write over here $71.42, which left me with the remainder of $3.58. So that makes me feel good that I <laughs> saved or I did not go over in this budget. And then I do roll over the change. So we're going to do 10, 20. We're going to do minus 58 cents, which just leaves me with a clear $3 to roll over for next week for groceries. Next is going to be gas, you guys. <clears throat> so on the 14th, literally that day, I needed gas. So I went and got gas for $39.19. So we are going to do $39.19 which leaves me with $10.81. <clears throat> so as I'm closing this budget out, I really do need gas, but because we're going on vacation, I decided not to try and use the remainder of my money. I was gonna go ahead and fill up with our you know, fun money or whatnot because we're gonna be driving around and doing things. And so we have $10.81 left and we are going to roll over that uh, 81 cents that just leaves me with ten dollars so this gives me sort of a buffer to work with whenever i cash my envelopes for the new week and start to kind of get ahead on gas um here in texas gas has been for me even though it went up like 20 cents um, it's been staying steady at about three dollars and like 57 cents. So we're okay for right now if that makes sense. 
Um, so that's gas. Um, like I said, we have not budgeted anything for a household. Next is going to be personal. And I have not done anything for personal, y'all. So the money is just still there. So we'll do zero for household and then zero for personal. And then we're going to go to spending, where spending was not a good idea. <laughs> so um, for spending, um, on the 15th, I was out and about for a little bit, and I spent $8.76, which gave me $14.24 left. And then on the 17th, which was a Monday, I had jury duty, and I didn't cook dinner, so then we did not have lunch, and I ended up buying lunch because they gave us a few minutes to go grab something. And then on the 18th, I also did not cook dinner that previous day, so I went to Walgreens to go and buy like some soup, which I regret buying because it was disgusting. Um, and y'all, I just didn't, like we all know inflation is real, and I know we talk about it all the time, but like, man, the soup was like, $4.29 and it was like this big, like it was crazy. Um, and so I am negative $1.43. So we're actually going to add up all of these charges really quickly. So we have $8.76 plus $8.98 plus $6.69, which equals $24.43. So 2443 which gave me negative 143. But we are, or I do know that for my next paycheck, I will be paying this off. So we're gonna go ahead and zero this out. So we're gonna do plus $1.43, which will bring us to zero. So that is where we are for our miscellaneous. And then we are going to add up my change. So we had 0.58 plus 0.81, which equals $1.39 that will go into my general savings um, here. So I just know that is what's going to be transferred over into that savings account. And then let me actually go and put it into savings, y'all, so that it is written down everywhere that it needs to be. And then that is actually going to be concluding savings. Okay, so we're going to do uh, 10, 20, and we're going to do plus 139. And so we have 1488.17 plus $1.39, which equals 1489.56. And that's where we are with that savings, y'all. So that concludes my check-in for the month of October. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one.